Hello, everyone, and welcome to our January Rockstars Mega Cooking Class, and Happy New Year. We are so excited uh, to kick off 2024 with all of you, and we have got a great cooking class for you guys tonight. For those of you who have never joined us live or those of you that are watching the recording, we do this class every single month on Zoom, and I highly recommend you join it live because once we get to the end of the class, we're going to have some giveaways, and the giveaways you can only uh, participate in live. So definitely, if you're on here live now, stay on. If you're watching the recording later, then I encourage you to join us live next month. So uh, what we're going to do is if you have not yet put your name first and last in the chat box and the name of the consultant that invited you first and last, because we do have some with the same first name, um, that is how we are going to be able to keep track of you and make sure that when you win something, we know who to contact to get your information to send that gift to. So um, I've got everyone muted. So if you don't mind keeping yourself muted, that allows our recording to be super clean and we appreciate that. Um, but you can always put questions in the chat box and we will do our best to stay on top of answering them. So our first presenter tonight, I'm going to pass off to Stephanie Murphy. Are you ready? I'm here. I'm ready. Yay. All right. Hi, everybody. So um, I'm Stephanie Murphy, and I am going to show you guys a really simple recipe that I made the other night for my family. A lot of us are really focused on healthy eating this time of year, uh, come January, right? And those New Year's resolutions. So we're really looking for healthy eating this time of year. So you guys will see if you don't already have the recipes, we'll send those to you or uh, contact the consultant that invited you so you can get those. But what I'm going to do tonight is just a really simple roasted ratatouille. You've probably heard it. Maybe you've watched the movie. But basically what we're focusing on, lots and lots and lots of veggies. OK, so I'm going to show you guys what I did to just throw it together. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like in stages throughout the rest of the night. So first of all, I took some zucchini and you'll see I just chopped up. Oh throwing it around, just chopped it up, um, yellow squash as well. And you guys will notice all of these for me, I, if I'm chopping them, I try to do everything bite size. It is that way I don't need a knife later on and everything cooks evenly. So I'm really looking for bite size items to start. Okay. So I've got squash, zucchini. This is eggplant. You guys, this is also a really great recipe to hide those veggies you've already got in the fridge that you're kind of looking to push through. Um, and onions, I'm gonna get those in there too. Got some onions, also have some red peppers. And of course you can use any kind of pepper. If there's something to hear your family's like, I am not doing that, just leave it out. And if there's some veggies in your fridge that you really need to get you get rid of or your family loves, throw them in there. I also have some fresh tomatoes. This is a really great versatile recipe because you can use canned as well. Um, especially this time of year, maybe you can't find a lot of veggies. So it's totally fine to, you know, go in your pantry and see if you can find some, some, um, tomatoes or chop some up if you have them, you know, whether they're cherry tomatoes or whatever, that's really fine. Okay. So a bowl full of veggies. And then what I'm going to add to that, you guys, is I'm going to pull out our French pantry and you can mix and match depending on what you and your family love. These are some of the fav favorites that we have. This is a pesto parmesan from some of our French pantry um, olive oils. And so I'm going to put just a couple tablespoons of that on here. And again, it's really more for flavor, but it goes a long way. So you don't need a ton of it. And then this is one of the herb blends. You guys, we have lots of herb blends that are amazing. This is our roasted garlic and chives. I pulled out a couple more that I've made this recipe with. Roasted onion and red pepper is a really good one. And one of our um, new French pantry blends, our meat bomb blend, which is amazing. I mean, all of them are really fabulous. But again, a couple tablespoons of that oil blend and a couple tablespoons of this herb blend. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. Just like that, you guys. And then just like this, I mean, talk about everyday easy, right? Just like this, and look, I wish you guys can see really how amazing those colors are. I'm going to throw it into our round molds. And of course, you know it's for teas when it has the pink line. So I'm gonna throw it right into that round mold, just like that, you guys. And I'm going to roast it. I do pretty much everything at 350 because it's easy to remember. If you have something in the oven that's at 375, by all means, feel free to put it, put it in there. If you want to put some roasted chicken in here or some chicken in here, if you want to put some chicken sausage in here, you totally can. Turn it into a one pan meal. It is possible. You can add a little protein. And I'm going to show you how, how I did that. So these veggies are going to go in just like this. And 
they'll cook for about 25, 35 minutes, depending on how um, soft you want them. I like them cooked really, really soft. So it's almost like a sauce. You can serve it over pasta. You can serve it over zucchini noodles. You can serve it over um, spaghetti squash. But again, I'm going to turn it into a one pan meal in a different way. Okay. So magic of virtual cooking means I can pull it out, pretend I just cooked it. And here it is in our rectangular mold. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. This is a full recipe. The full recipe will fit in that rectangular. I actually did a half recipe fit in that um, that round mold, but you can easily fit a full recipe in that round mold. I just don't need two full recipes for my family. Not right now, since we just had it the other night. Okay, so we've got this nice, warm, um, cooked ratatouille. You guys can see these tomatoes now are a little bit roasted and these veggies, they've got a little bit of sauce to them. You know what? I just remembered I had mushrooms in the fridge. I totally could have added those too. Um, and you can, like I said, you can cook it down more and more and more as much as you'd like. But here's my tip. This is kind of what I did the other night and worked out really well. Eggs. So right on top of these, I just cracked a few eggs right on top. And you guys can see there's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm literally just putting them right on top. And you can, I mean, if you've got lots of mouths to feed, you can cram them in here and milk a whole, a whole bunch of eggs. Or if you've got just a few of you, or if you're looking for leftovers or whatever that looks like, I'm gonna put six on here. And then I'm gonna throw these back in the oven for about, 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on how well you guys like your eggs done. So take a look at that cracked right over that ratatouille, right? And you can do the same thing with just squash and, and onions and bacon and make it a breakfast hash or even potatoes, you guys, and add some sweet potatoes in here and turn that into a breakfast hash just like this. I'm going to put this in the oven just like this. Okay. And then we're going to tune back to me as they're coming out of the oven so you can see what it looks like when it's done. So these are going to go in. We're going to switch to the next presenter, and then I'll see you guys back here at my kitchen in just a few minutes. Thank you, Stephanie. That looks so amazing. I'm actually drooling over here, so I wish you were closer. All Sorry. right, Tina, are you ready? I am ready. Oh, my gosh, that looks so delicious, Stephanie. I can't wait to see the final, final, because I love eggs on top of almost anything. Okay, so I am doing a exciting recipe because it's very versatile it's very simple it is very delicious and it's very healthy so all of the above it is a one sheet pan dinner and it is chicken veggies and cauliflower rice and your family is going to absolutely love it i'm going to do the last step first so that i can show you the finished product when i'm all finished and so I've already done step one and two. There's chicken veggies here that have already been cooked for 15 minutes. And then I have cauliflower rice here and I'm gonna show you what I did to it, but I'm literally gonna sprinkle this cauliflower rice over the top because of course, you know, it takes less time to cook the cauliflower rice than everything else. But we wanna kind of get a layer because we want it to kind of toast up on top of the veggies and the chicken. And so we'll leave it on the top and that uh, nice 400 degree oven is going to get this cauliflower rice all beautiful. So that's gonna go back in the oven for five minutes. And so it's a total of 20 minutes is all it takes for this because we're using really thin chicken tenders. And I'm gonna let my Wonderful cousin who's here, Greg, stick this in the oven for us for five minutes. There you go. Gotta have the hot pants. <laughs> All right. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the beginning couple of steps. So I have my um, Forky's Flexi Mat here and it's on a large perforated sheet. And you know what? I have started really using the large perforated sheets when I'm using that uh, 13 by nine that Stephanie was using or the mat, the um, flexi mat, because there's more real estate to hold on to when you take it in and out. So I really like the large for, for this purpose. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with the chicken. And what I've done with the chicken is I have marinated it. So what the recipe says is to prep your chicken first, let it stand at room temperature while you're preheating the oven and doing the veggies. So this has already been standing. So what's in here is uh, the chicken tenders. I cut them into 
small pieces or you can actually buy them already cut up into small pieces. You don't want them too big and then it's gonna, everything's gonna cook at the same time. Anyway, it, there's uh, two tablespoons, and this is a half a recipe because I just put a half a recipe in the oven. Two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce, whatever your favorite teriyaki sauce is. And it's got uh, one half tablespoon of sesame, toasted sesame oil. And it's really, I think toasted sesame oil is the absolute best. And sometimes it's hard to find. However, it'll say pure sesame oil. And if you read the ingredients, it'll say toasted sesame oil under the ingredients. And so that's the one to get taste has more flavor. All right, so we're just spreading the chicken out on the flexi mat. And then here I have, I'm gonna move this over just for a moment. And here I have all these beautiful veggies. So what's in here is a cup and a half of broccoli florets, a cup and a half of uh, red peppers that I've cut into little strips. And then it says in the recipe, either carrots cut in really thin strips or matchstick. And I took the shortcut of buying these great matchstick carrots that you can get at the grocery store and they're all done for you. So that's pretty fun. All right, so what's gonna go on these veggies is uh, a tablespoon of teriyaki sauce, pouring that in. We're gonna put one tablespoon of our French pantry roasted garlic oil. So that's gonna add some amazing flavor. And then we're gonna add one half tablespoon of our new chicken herb blend, although we've had it for a few months now, but if you haven't tried it yet, oh my gosh, this is adding so much flavor to everything. And that's what's on the uh, chicken also, the teriyaki sauce in this chicken herb blend. And I'm uh, gonna tell you what's in here. It's really an interesting blend. It's got a zatar mix, which has sesame thyme and sumac. And I actually looked up what is in sumac and, or what is sumac and it's dried berries. It's used a lot in Mediterranean and Asian cooking. And these dried berries have a sort of a sweet citrusy flavor. And so that's what's in that Zatar blend. And then it has um, the onion, parsley, oregano, black pepper, a little bit of sugar and margarine. So it adds so much flavor to your chicken dishes, veggies, just absolutely wonderful. Been using a lot of it. We also have a new fish and a meat herb blend that I absolutely love. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread these beautiful vegetables out over the chicken. Look at the colors. Everybody, they say you eat with your eyes first and this is absolutely beautiful with all these gorgeous colors. All right, so we're just gonna spread that out over. Just like that. And then that is what had come out of the oven. This is going to go in that 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. Or, yeah, 15 minutes. All right, I'm just going to set this one aside though for the moment so I can show you how we did the cauliflower rice. All right, so there are shortcuts to cauliflower rice because you can buy cauliflower rice already riced up at the store and you can also buy frozen cauliflower rice, which we love it in our family here. So we, I keep some in the freezer just in case, but I love the fresh. Just take a head of cauliflower and chop it up. And with our Eco Chop, it is the easiest thing in the world. So in here, just to show you, I have some little florets that I cut off of a whole head. And by the way, a whole head average size makes about four to five cups of cauliflower rice. And for the whole recipe, both sheets I'm using, it's three cups. So it doesn't even take a whole head of cauliflower. But anyway, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to turn it into cauliflower rice. I'm just gonna put two pills here. And voila, you now have cauliflower rice. So easy and less expensive than buying it already prepared. So. Sometimes January, we're thinking about being more um, budget friendly and definitely more healthy. So that's how you do that. All right, then I've got the cup and a half of cauliflower rice in here. And to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of the teriyaki sauce, one half 
tablespoon of sesame oil and a half tablespoon of the garlic oil, which I guess I didn't measure out, so I'm gonna dump it in. There we go. Estimate like Stephanie did. All right, and so we're just gonna mix that up. And that's what I am going to top this with once it's all cooked for 15 minutes. All right, and now my wonderful cousin, Greg just got the finished product out of the oven so I can show you. There we go, just set it right here. Okay. Thank you so much. And there it is. And you can actually, if you want to be fancy, you can transfer this. If you're having a dinner party, you transfer this to a beautiful serving platter. Look how gorgeous that is. But if not, and it's just the family, and tonight it's just Greg and me here, we're just going to top it with some uh, chopped green onion. And it is going to be an absolute amazing dinner. Are you ready for that, Greg? I am. I am. <laughs> All right. I'm just waiting. All right. Absolutely. So this is just so easy and so delicious and so healthy. So now I'm going to turn it over to my good friend, Dana, for our last recipe. Awesome. Oh Thank you, Tina. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to try that recipe. The husband's going to love it. So I'm kind of running into home base with your lovely side that can also become a main dish. So mm -hmm. I always say about salads is you can have it be a side dish or add protein to make it an entree salad. So with this salad, you could do um, chicken, salmon, shrimp, anything you want to put on the top. But we are making a quinoa lime cilantro salad. So first, we're going to start with the quinoa. We're going to do it all in the microwave with one of our monthly specials. It is either your choice, the medium round mold, which is what I'm showing right now. The medium round mold is awesome. The thing that really sets apart this new Fortis product from some of our older line is the really reinforced sides. So I have my rinse quinoa on here already, but I want to show you how reinforced those sides are on that medium. Um, love, love, love it. You could also do it in large, and I'll show you that finished product in a minute. But let's get this quinoa started. So I have one cup of rinsed quinoa in the medium round mold. I am going to add one cup, two cups of water. So that's your ratio, two to one. Now I love using quinoa as a side dish or a base for meals because it really brings in that protein versus like your rices and your pastas. Quinoa is really gonna bump up the protein in your meals. Okay, so now we're gonna zhuzh it up. It's a really lovely grain, but it needs flavor. So my rule of thumb whenever I'm making quinoa is I always flavor the water with better than bouillon. Love this stuff, you can get it at Costco. We personally love the um, roasted chicken or the roasted garlic. This happens to be the roasted chicken. So for every cup of water, use a teaspoon of better than bouillon. And so my little tip is I love our jar spoons because it's kind of sticky. You just use your little jar spoon and in it goes. That's one, we'll do another one and use my little jar spoon to get it out easily. Now, the next thing I'm gonna add is, you could add cumin if you wanted to, that would be kind of like the, the recipe that I'm following. And by the way, if you have not received the recipes from the consultant that invited you, make sure you reach out for those after the class. Instead of using um, cumin, which was in the recipe as um, written, I'm gonna use some of our chicken blend that um, Tina just used. So I don't know if she showed you what it looked like, but look at how beautiful that is. Like she said, it has that za'atar seasoning, which my husband's Persian. So we use a lot of sumac in our cooking and it's that tangy, yummy flavor, that je ne sais quoi. So as with the better than bouillon, I'm gonna use two teaspoons of that as well. So really bumping up the flavor. Now, because I know that better than bouillon has a lot of salt content, I'm not gonna add any salt, but I will add a little bit of our pepper. So love our pep rally pepper mill, yum, yum. I'm gonna use our Madagascar, of course, the five flavors of pepper below, your grinders on the top. You can adjust the grind. Our family loves Madagascar, so in it goes. The um, chicken seasoning does have pe pepper in it, as Tina told you, but I like to add a little bit more. Now I'm gonna use our lovely mini whisk to kind of break up that 
better than bullion and kind of incorporate all that together. Don't need to do a whole lot, but just kind of break up that better than bullion. You can see how gorgeous that's going to be. Beautiful, beautiful. Of course, I'm going to cover my round mold with the octagonal bond mat. This fits on the medium or the large. I always do writing side down. I feel like it provides a really good seal. And into the microwave on a microwave safe plate, I'm just using my dinner plate here. As long as it's micro microwave safe, you're good to go. So my recommendation is put it in for 13 minutes. That's the kind of the shortest time on the recipe. In my microwave, I checked it after 13, carefully released it away from your face so you don't get the quinoa facial. Um, it needed more time. So if, if you still see liquid or if the little quinoas don't have the little pigtails poking out, you know, you need to put it in for a couple more minutes. So in it goes, 12 minutes. Actually, I know for myself, it was 16. So I'm just gonna go ahead for the full 16. And if by magic, I have another batch that I did earlier today. This is now in our large round mold. You can see the large round is a little different. It doesn't have the double sides, but it still has that really nice reinforcement. The large also tapers a bit, whereas your medium is pretty straight up and down. So they can be used for cakes. They can be used for three minute broccoli. If you have not received that recipe from your um, consultant, definitely you can do the three minute broccoli with that lid. But this is what the quinoa looks like when it's done. When it was cooking, it smelled so good. But look how beautiful that is. All the water's absorbed, absorbed all the little pigtails are poking out. And now we're gonna build right on top of this. Now you can absolutely serve this as a side. You can see how the seasoning kind of wants to collect in certain areas. So I just kind of fluff it a little bit. Um, and you could serve it warm right out of the microwave. Um, you could put it in a serving bowl. You could serve it right from your bond cook if you don't want to do a whole bunch of dishes. It's up to you. So kind of stir it up, get it ready to go. And our next step is to make a lovely dressing. Now, like I said, you can turn this simple side dish into an entree salad. And what I recommend you do is you take that dressing recipe, double it, and use it as the marinade for your chicken, your shrimp, your fish, your salmon. And that's a really easy way to marry those flavors. You definitely want to flavor in layers so that you don't get to the end of your recipe and you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't seasoned. And then you salt the top and it just doesn't taste right. So we've done that all along. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our eco chop, which can be used to emulsify dressings, which I love. So you're going to take your eco chop, you're gonna put your little blade in. You're gonna put in a quarter cup of one of our flavored oils. I've used the lime oil here. In fact, I used all the rest. I need another one. You could use our garlic oil here. You could use our cilantro oil, pesto parm, whatever your favorite oil is. You could even use our fabulous French extra virgin olive oil. But you just want a quarter cup here. Then you're gonna add the juice of one and a half limes. Put this guy to the side. Now, my recommendation for limes is twofold. First of all, we washed them already. You want to roll your lime to release those juices. Get it nice and rolled, and you can feel it getting kind of mushy. Then I always, why would you throw away the zest when you can put a little bit into your dressing? So I'm going to take my Le Petit grater. Has this awesome cover on it that you can, if you need it to measure your zest. Oh, I just threw it across the room, but. You could imagine how I could put it on the back and then measure the zest. But since it's across the way, I will not be doing that with you tonight. Hashtag real life, right? So I'm going to zest it first right into my eco chop. And you don't need a whole lot. If I was doing the chicken on the side, you know, put a little zest in that as well. And like I said, if you're doing your protein, double this recipe and then you can um, marinate your protein. In. Then I'm going to take did you know you can use our cake server knives to cut things? They're a great first knife for kids and I can use it to cut my lime up, just like so. Then I'm taking my citrus press. This is like the Cadillac of all citrus presses. Of course, you always wanna cut or juice, cut side down, and that's how you get the most juice. So I need to do one and a half of these. You can see how much juice comes out of that. Let's do the other half right in there you can see oh my gosh it smells so good and then we need another half so let's roll that guy roll them out 
and cut, I'll do a little zest, might as well. Don't wanna waste it. And then we'll cut it in half and juice it. And then to this, we will add some of our favorite pepper and salt from our grinders. I'm gonna show you, I showed you the pepper alley, but this is our lovely daily grind salt mill. Five different flavors of salt. Once again, you've got that grinder on top and let your taste buds be your guide. So today, these are some of the flavors you can choose. Curry coconut, red wine, basil parmesan, lemon thyme, and garlic paprika. So I thought here the garlic paprika would be delish. So you just twist off the flavor you want, make sure that's the one attached to the grinder and grind away. Then I'm gonna do that same pepper that we love in our household, the Madagascar. And then once again, the original recipe called for cumin, but I'm gonna go ahead and in this dressing slash marinade, I'm gonna use our chicken blend again. So that was two tablespoons. See how we're really mirroring all the flavors and matching them together? Two table teaspoons, excuse me, of that. We're gonna use our Eco Chop lid to emulsify. Ready, go. It's a little bit loud. You're gonna get your arm workout. And here we go. So just a few pulls to emulsify. And then, oh my gosh, smells so good. So this is what it looks like. Now, you could absolutely double, triple, quadruple, and then take the lid that comes with your Eco Chop and put it in your fridge for later, right? But we're gonna go ahead and take half of this to start and pour it right over the quinoa. Just like so, we're gonna leave the rest because when we put the veggies in, we may need a little bit more. I'm gonna use our one of our set of two mini spatulas to just kind of combine that. Perfect, smells so good. We'll put this aside and now we're gonna prep our veggies. Now I'm gonna take another Eco Chop bowl and I'm going to do our um, red onion and our cucumber and our cilantro. So I'm gonna take the blade and I don't even need to wash it because it's all going into the same bowl. I have a quarter of a red onion, I'm gonna to toss that in. It calls for a small cucumber, but at my store, the small cucumbers did not look good. So I just am using a half of an English cucumber, which I'm gonna cut into pieces so that it doesn't get stuck on the blade. And once again, I'm using that cake server knife, you guys, not just for serving cake. So I'll probably cut it into kind of the same size chunks as that red onion. And I'll, I can do this in stages. I don't have to do it all at once, but we're gonna chop and drop. Ready, go. Now, the more you pull, the finer it gets. And I like kind of a chunkier veggie here. Um, fun fact, every time you pull, it's six rotations. So this is what it looks like after about five pulls. Let's do two more. That was six. That's perfect. So you can see how beautifully chopped that is. No knife needed. I'm going to add it right to my bowl. And then all I have left to do is the rest of that cucumber and the cilantro, and I can do all of that together. How easy is this? And cilantro, I just washed it when I got home from the store. I usually wrap it in a little Norwex towel and then I twist off the kind of woody ends. Cilantro is one herb that you can eat the stems. They're nice and tender, but I take off some of the bigger pieces. So in it goes with the rest of the cucumber. And we're gonna just put the cilantro in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm gonna break it into a few little pieces so it doesn't get wrapped around the axle there. But I'm using the whole bunch because I love cilantro and it's kind of the green element. And then I have a really fun bond tip for you about tomatoes coming right up. Okay, ready, go. Okay, that's seven pulls like the previous. My hands are getting a little oily, you can see. But that's perfectly chopped, the rest of that cube, and the cilantro, so we'll toss that in. 
Now, we were at Costco this weekend, and we found the most beautiful cherry tomatoes. I'm going to show you the package so you can run, not walk, and get, oh my gosh, we've already eaten one package just right out of the container because they're so sweet. And then this is the other one. So here we go. Let me get this all stirred together. And then I'm going to show you the little bone tip with tomato, cherry tomatoes. Okay, look how gorgeous that has just become. Now, for fun, these, I'm going to show you these. These are what we got at Costco. So delicious. They're just like candy. So what you do to cut them in half quickly is you mound them up, you put your eco chop lid on top, and you cut through. And they have perfect, then you have your perfectly cut halves of cherry tomatoes. So I already did that. And we're going to toss those in next. Like so. And it calls for two tomatoes. So just do as, you know, it, the beauty of our recipes is you can kind of customize them to what your family likes and what you, what you can find in your store or what you have already on hand. And I have these beautiful cherry tomatoes on hand. Look at how gorgeous that salad is. So imagine putting in a nice serving bowl, serving it with a little of the yummy chicken. And you can do your chicken, like if you were doing the chicken tenderloins and using that dressing as a marinade, 400 degrees, 20 minutes, and they're perfectly good to go. So there you have it. And now I think we're jumping back to Stephanie's kitchen to see her eggs in action. Yes. Real quick, Dana, we, did you use yeah. the same amount of chicken herb blend as you did cumin instead in, in place of the cumin? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. That looks amazing. The recipe calls for two teaspoons, and I just used two teaspoons of the chicken. You could also use Love the meat, fish, whatever protein that you're using on top. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Passing it off back to Stephanie. Oh my gosh, Dana, the amount of tips that you just threw at us. Like I'm going to have to go back and <laughs> replay hashtag replay. Cause you had so much and it was amazing. I love the little um, spice spoon and the cilantro. You guys, did you see how she did that? Anyway, you, yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly what I just said, Lisa. Exactly. Okay. So a couple things I want to show you guys. I have not done anything here. Um, this is what it looks like as I'm taking it out. So these have been in what, maybe 15 minutes. They are definitely getting soft. I love it. They're totally looking like they're roasting, but I would put those in a little bit longer. Just me. Some people would like to not, and that's totally fine too. This is what it looks like. And Tina, I'm glad I'm not the only one that likes to add eggs to this. Like, look at that, you guys. How amazing is that? You've got some protein, lots of fresh veggies, and I did nothing other than chop it up and then throw it in the oven, right? It took me maybe two minutes to prep, but I want to show you, this is how I would plate it. So I would just take one with the eggs and put maybe a couple extra veggies on there. And then you guys, this is just some fresh cilantro, which you can totally um, cut up if you want, but I like to tear it because I don't know. It looks beautiful that way. And look at this, you guys. Look at how beautiful that is. Lots of veggies. Talk about eating the rainbow protein in here as well. It's amazing. You can do it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Great little snack. And you are eating a ton of your veggies. Plus you got that protein. So um, I encourage all of you guys to try this roasted, this oven roasted ratatouille and either add some chicken sausage or some chicken or make it a side dish. And, and um, I love that tip, by the way, Dana, of doubling your, um, your like dressing recipe and you can do that as a marinade as well so you can totally marinate chicken and i mean so many options there so um definitely try it you guys and dana and tina those look amazing both of those i can't wait to try those as well so if you have not already written your name in the comments um your full name and the name of the consultant that invited you um i know T uh, teresa is going to be doing some drawings in a minute so make sure your name is on there um, and if you don't have the recipes, reach out to the consultant that invited you and we will be sure to get them to you as well. Okay. All right. Back to you, Teresa. Awesome. Thank you, Stephanie. And oh my gosh, thank you, Tina and Dana. Amazing recipes. It's so fun to have some healthy new recipes in the new year, isn't it? You guys, I'm so excited to make them myself. So I would love it. We're going to try something new tonight. And as I'm going over the specials with you, which I do want you to pay attention to what I'm going to share with you, but if you would put in the chat box, 
anything that was added to your wish list tonight from watching our presentation. I would love to see what you guys are excited about and what jumped out at you um, tonight from watching these wonderful presentation. So thank you, everybody. Okay, so now I'm going to share our screen with you. And first thing I'm going to start with is my favorite. And that would be our bomb business starter. And that is because you guys, this, can you guys see that? I love it when I like all my layers are here, but I got to see what you're saying. Okay, here we go. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, those of you um, who've been here before, you see it every single month, but this class is so much fun because of the amazing collaboration with all of our amazing consultants. Okay. And so as you see, we learn from each other and yes, I learned something from each and every one of these ladies tonight. It's so much fun. And so I will tell you, our team is the number one team in the company and the number one team you will probably ever be a part of because of our amazing collaboration and how we help each other and give each other the best ideas and build each other up regularly. So we would love to invite you, whether you're looking for something part-time, full-time, or fun-time. And I'm serious. You can do this alongside a full-time job. You can do this as a retirement. You can just do this as a hobby. You can do this just to get the personal shopping discount. Totally up to you. The sky's the limit. Um, but we want to say to you, come and join us because um, we are so excited about a lot of new things that are kicking off here in January. We have a new incentive trip that we're all working to earn, and we would love for you to earn that trip with us. Uh, we have obviously lots of new recipes. We've got lots of great things being rolled out by our amazing CEO and um, Bon Cook home office team. And so we want you guys to join us and what better way an affordable way to do it than with this $75 bomb business starter uh, collection. So I would love for you to look at this. I want you to see everything that comes in that bundle. You can do a lot to with that. Look at these amazing recipes just pictured on this flyer. I highly recommend that you guys stick with the $75 bomb business starter because we can show you how to earn everything else for free. However, if you're interested in getting more products right away, especially this new Four Tees line, then you might want to consider either the $99 Bomb Business Starter, which adds on some of our most popular French pantry items, or the $169 Bomb Business Starter, which is really great because this adds on the items from our meal prep collection, which everybody is going to be into meal prep in the new year, which is exciting. So consider that. For sure. We would love to invite each and every one of you to join us. And if you're sitting there and you're not interested, but you know someone that is, please reach out to the consultant that invited you and talk to them about that person. We love referrals. And I got to tell you, I'm here because a friend said I should do this business. And most of us are. So I just want to put that out there for you guys. Now, if you're not interested in the business, but you want to get some free products, you want to get some new recipe ideas, you want to learn more than, and you want to share it with your friend, then I'm going to tell you, you definitely want to host your own class in the month of January because we have double rewards, you guys. This is so exciting. All month long, we have double host rewards. So at our Bon Elite level, which most of our hosts get to, you would normally start at 15%. And that's 15% of the total sales of the class. And you would get that in free product. But in the month of January, it is 30%. That is huge, you guys. Can you imagine us telling you go shopping for $360? totally for free. Why not? And then when you have friends at your class that book a future class, you get a 50% off item in addition to the one we gift you just for doing the class. So you can see it can be a gathering of just a couple friends and you might get that bond select level, which still is a generous return for us to thank you for getting your friends together. Uh, but sky's the limit. Like I said, you can invite 10 to 12 friends is going to get you to that Bon Elite level, you guys. So whether you're doing a virtual class or an in-person class, reach out to the consultant that invited you and consider booking in January. It is the best time to do it for sure. Okay. And then we're going to get to those customer specials. I did promise you. And so first up, I'm going to talk about the January specials, which were just highlighted by our amazing presentations. And so as you guys can see here, as always, we have three really great specials. The first one is this one pan wonders where you're going to have your choice of the flexi mat or the rectangular mold. Okay. And then you get your choice of the chicken, the meat, or the fish herb blend. And those, that bundle or normally the $84 in the month of January, it's only 65, you guys, that's amazing. So you choose which one is best for your family and what's gonna be used the most. Um, really great collection there for sure. 
And then this is probably my favorite all time, whether it's on sale or not, our Steam team. It is amazing how many things that you can do in this amazing either medium round mold or the large round mold. In the little chat box we were talking tonight about the fact that if you're cooking for one, two, maybe three, that medium round mold is going to be more than sufficient. It's going to be amazing. If you're cooking for four plus, you definitely want that large round mold. Uh, but they both have this new Fortis line. It has a reinforced edge, and so it's sturdier, really easy to get in and out of the microwave. And when you combine it with this octagonal bond mat, it is the perfect steam team, which is why we've got that bundle only $55 this month, which is amazing. And then you guys, I would talk about it steaming in the microwave, but I use this combo in the oven all the time. My bond mat, my octagonal bond mat is my lid for those round molds, whether I'm in the oven or the microwave. So definitely consider this bundle as well. And then dress it up. You can't go wrong with these amazing French pantry items. We've got our 200 milliliter bottle of the extra virgin olive oil makes a gorgeous gift. I just had a customer purchase this yesterday as a gift. Um, it comes with our whisk cleaning spatula and then your choice of mustard. You can make an amazing dressing or marinade um, with this collection. And it would be normally $62 on sale in the month of January for only 45, which is fantastic. So now I did promise you, I would tell you about a flash sale that ends tonight. So if you're watching the recording, you're already gonna miss this and I apologize. But remember, the best way to get stuff for free or discounted is to join our team or host a class or do both. So, but tonight, if you guys are on here live, then I want you to see that you can get this amazing add-on, a free four tees mold of choice with any collection purchase. And I got to tell you guys, we've got some amazing collections and it's perfect timing with the new year. My favorite, I've got to say, is our meal prep collection. I know myself, I'm teaching a couple meal prep classes this month. And so I'm going to utilize those um, items in that collection. And so definitely uh, consider getting that meal prep collection tonight. Reach out to your consultant that invited you and schedule your meal prep class with him or her. And then you can select your free Fortis mold and you get to choose from either the 3D round, the twisted loaf, the vintage ring, the checkerboard, or the fluted tart. All amazing pieces. And so consider doing that. And then Dana pointed out to me, just as we were getting started tonight, that you guys can go to our website. So if you don't know the website of your consultant, reach out, they'll give it to you. And then you can go to the sale tab. And under the sale tab, not only has all of those January specials, but it also has all of the collections. So you can easily see your options for a collection. And then you get free shipping with our collections and a free Fortis mold, which is really exciting. So definitely consider jumping on as soon as we hang up and getting that uh, collection tonight. Well, you can get that bonus gift, which is awesome. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to move into our winners for tonight. And I love seeing, I'm just gonna go through and see, I wanna see what all of you guys are looking at because I think it's really fun to see what you're building on your wish list. And we we're having a little trouble deciding what we're going to give away tonight. So this is super helpful because I was leaning towards giving away a pepper mill and it looks like a couple of people have the pepper mill on their wish list. So I think that we are going to for sure give away a pepper mill right now. So let me go ahead and shuffle up these names on our wheel. We've got some great names on here, guys. Okay, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Sorry, here we go. And now we are going to... Spin to see who's winning the pepper mill tonight. All those names, spin, spin, spin. Let's see who it lands on. It looks like Tiffany. Congratulations, Tiffany. You've got a pepper mill coming your way. Um, and I'm sure if you're already on the pepper mill, we could totally substitute it with the salt grinder for sure. So, okay. And then I'm seeing... We need, I know a lot of comments came in tonight about the little jar spoons. Those guys are awesome, you guys. And also, I'm just going to scroll through here. I have seen, oh, I think two people. I don't know if the pesto parmesan back in stock, though. Let me scroll through here. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the next winner is going to get a set of two jar spoons. They're going to get a mini whisk because that is, you can never have too many mini whisks. And then, you're going to get your French pantry oil of choice. So if you're one that wants a pesto parm and it's on 
available, you can have it. You have to pick one that's available. So, uh, so the next one, jar spoons, mini whisk, French pantry, flavored oil of choice. Perfect for making those dressings. And let's see who's going to win that. Do, 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 do. I want to just add real fast. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. What, Pesco Parmesan oil is in stock, you guys. That is why I use that one. So, thank Jennifer, you, thank that you, is thank an you. option for you. Okay. Yes. Jennifer, this is exciting because Jennifer Brown, you just won. And that's in addition to the customer appreciation raffle that you won. So, super exciting. You've got some shopping to do, Jennifer. So, congratulations. Okay. All right. Any other questions, comments, presenters, anyone before we sign off tonight? For those of you who don't know, we are immediately following this mega class with our Rockstars team meeting. So if you'd like to be a fly in the wall and see what it is to be a part of our team, you're welcome to stay on. Don't feel like you have to, but uh, you're welcome to stay on and just kind of see what that's like as well. We would love to have you join us. For those of you who are only on here for the mega class, we'll say good night for now. And we'll look forward to seeing you guys in February. Have a really great rest of your month in January. Definitely reach out to your consultant, get your cooking class scheduled or join our team this month. You guys don't want to miss out. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. I need Happy to make sure I stop the recording and not end the whole thing.